Hey, so I've just been told that I need to implement zero trust across our Microsoft 365 tenancy. Nice. I mean, that's a big step. What's the current security setup look like? Yeah, about that. Um, we don't have one. Like, at all. I mean, our tenancy is basically like the Wild West. Okay. So, what's your plan? That's the second problem I've got. I've absolutely no idea what I'm doing. Not a Scooby-Doo. Now, if that sounds familiar, don't worry. You're not alone. In today's video, I'm going to show you a trick that can save you hours when it comes to deploying conditional access policies in your organization. So, whether you start from zero or you just want to save a bit of time, today's video might be for you. But before we start all that, let's just have a quick intro. My name is Jonathan Edwards, also known as the Bearded365 Guy. I help businesses all over the world with their Microsoft 365. You can find more information at beta365guy.com. Now, let's be honest. Conditional access is one of the most powerful tools in Microsoft 365 when it comes to your business security and zero trust. But if you've ever tried to set all these up from scratch, you will know it can be a bit of a slog. Now imagine, like our friend at the beginning of the video, that you've been tasked with implementing zero trust in your Microsoft 365 tenancy. But at the moment, your tenancy is a bit blank. You've got no policies, no MFA, not even a clue. Where do you start? But here's some good news. Microsoft have made it really easy for you to get started and to implement zero trust in your business. There's a bit of a hidden gem in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center where you can deploy multiple conditional access policies at the same time. You don't have to use PowerShell. You don't have to copy and paste JSON. You just do it with a few clicks and boom, your tenancy is a lot more secure. So without further ado, let's hop over to my screen and I'll show you how. Okay, so I'm in my Microsoft 365 Admin Center now. This is just a, a test tenancy. Now, you probably know that to implement conditional access policies, what you would usually do is go to Admin Centers, you go down to Identity, and this would launch the Microsoft Entra Admin Center. You'd then go to Identity, Protection, Conditional Access, and you've got your Conditional Access page here. You would click on create new policy and you would manually configure that policy. You have got an option as well to use some of the uh, built-in templates, but there's a lot of things to do. You've got to click around. You've got to, you've got to manually kind of do these. Okay. So it can take a bit of a time to do. Going back to the Microsoft 365 admin center, what we can do is go to setup. And then you're at the top here, we've got something called Featured Collections. Now, if I then click on Advanced Deployment Guides and Assistance, it takes us here. Well, we've got lots of different guides that we can work through. Okay, we've got some suggested guides here. Configure MFA, Setup Copilot, Microsoft Defender for Endpoint Setup Guide. These are just the suggested guides. If I click on All Guides, you can see that I've got a lot of guides that I can work through. And this is Microsoft helping us implement different technologies in our business, okay? Really helpful. And not many people use them. The one I want to concentrate on in today's video is this one here deploy conditional access policies, okay? So this is gonna help us deploy conditional access policies really quickly in our organization. So I will click on here. It then takes us to this page here. Now there's a bit of information about what conditional access is and how it can help your business. We've also got some additional resources if we want some further reading. But for now, I will just click on get started. And then we get to this page here. Now, Microsoft have given us a little bit of a warning before we start, and you do need to follow this warning. So if your tenant hasn't got anything called an emergency access account, otherwise known as a break glass account, Microsoft are recommending that you create two or more. I think two is generally okay. These emergency access accounts are, as the name suggests, 
just to be used in an emergency okay so they want to have the dot on microsoft domain and not federated or anything like that okay and also microsoft recommends that they are protected with fido 2 mfa so just a bit of a warning there about emergency access accounts the last thing you want to do is get locked out of your microsoft 365 tenant but what I want to talk about, if we come down here, is the template categories. And you can see here, look, we can click on the drop down and we've got a few options. Now, to find out more about these options, let's go and review the category definitions. OK, so you can choose any of these options and you will get certain conditional access policies assigned to these options. So a secure foundation which as the name suggests is a foundation. So it's some basic security measures. So if we choose this, then the conditional access policies will be these, require MFA for admins, secure and security info registration, these conditional access policies here. We've also got zero trust that we're gonna run through today. As you can see, we've just got a lot more conditional access policies. Now what happens is we've got a bit of a shout out here if your conditional access policies requires an extra license so this one here for example requires enter id p2 okay so we're going to go through this we've also got remote work we've got some conditional access policies you might you might have noticed that these kind of overlap so there's this conditional access policies in each of these categories so you can get an idea of what they are just close that i'm going to choose zero trust which is recommended I will then click on next and this gives us our zero trust conditional access policies and this is the hack we can just simply select all of these okay and as you can see by default the conditional access policies will be created in report only mode okay so just a few clicks like this And all our conditional access policies are going to be there. Just again, a word of, of information. What will happen is this user that I have used to create these conditional access policies will be excluded from the policies. OK, so that's another bit of a fail safe from Microsoft. At the moment, these are report only. You can put them on if you want. Probably not recommended. You don't want to just shove all these policies on at once. Now, if I just scroll down to the bottom again, we can review the template definitions. These are all the policies here. You can see what categories they are in, but also we can click into each of these. So require MFA for admins. It tells us exactly what conditional access policy it's going to be set up. It's excluding the current user, like I've just covered. We're including these roles all apps grant access so this is the conditional access policy in its entirety you can go into any of these and you can see exactly what it's doing plus there's a link there look if you want to learn more so a lot of information for you there once we're happy with that we will click on next and then it takes us to this page here so we can choose what multi-factor authentication methods we want to use in the organization so the recommended one is the authenticator app but you can also use the fido 2 security keys so we can turn that on if you want you can choose to use certificate based authentication what you will get now is a bit of an error message that just means that you will need to do some further configuration okay so i will just switch that off for now uh, medium security these are the medium security mfa methods and you'll notice at the bottom just creeping in is the low security and they've, they've made sure this is minimized and you have to click on it the reason being these aren't very secure methods of mfa anymore you can switch these on if you want but i wouldn't recommend that you do this is a nice little setup here click on next here's just a little review about what we're setting up the authentication methods the zero trust conditional access policies the status they're all in report only we can hop back to these sections if we want if we think we've made a mistake but i'm happy with that so i can just click on save configuration okay and that is now done okay i can now go and click on manage conditional access which will take me into the enter id portal where the conditional access lives okay we can see here look all those policies have been created they're all in report only. 
However, if I just click on done, it's worth noting this isn't just a, a something you can do as a one-off so all these policies are now in report only to, to put these into the on stage we'd have to go into each of these and click on switch on what we can also do here is keep coming back into here so it says it's completed but we can hop back in if we want okay so we can click on get started again and you see here look it says review and manage existing policies and i can click on here and you can see that all my policies are in here now it's also worth noting this reads every policy that is in our conditional access section so if we go in here and create one it will also pull, pull through from here and what i can do to manage these i can just switch them on you know i can go through here and quickly switch these policies on and click on save now, obviously, you probably wouldn't switch all these on at once because it might be a little bit like Armageddon. So if, if these are set as report only, you would look at these over a period of time. You might switch the, the, the main ones on like require MFA for admins. But you would look at the reporting and you to do that, you would go back into Entra. You would go to Identity. There's monitoring health and there's things like signing logs here. So this will tell you about all the signing logs. You can click on a sign and attempt and you can see look there's a tab over here called report only okay so it's report only not applied but these are the um policy names that might have kicked in with this sign on okay so that's it that is a a really good way to create some fantastic conditional access policies in your business so I hope you've enjoyed today's video. It's a great conditional access trick to get your Microsoft 365 secure really quickly. I look forward to seeing you again next week.